friends that we have, and uh, we don't want the Democratic president and the Democratic Congress, and, uh, particularly with your problem and with the other problem coming along next month and the problem coming in November and January to be having a bunch of strike-breaking legislation, although this legislation is, is uh, uh, we've got Railway Labor Act, not much different, but we want to get this damn thing settled. And we can't get it settled at the racetrack and out here in Chicago and all these things. Somebody's got to settle a strike. Right. And I talked to George twice this morning. I talked to him twice yesterday. And, and uh, this is what makes Stokely Carmichael's. And we just got to get busy here. And and we can't uh, we can't have a wild runaway uh, settlement uh, that that uh, sets the pace for all of you to just uh, go to the mat because you see he's already produced a steel situation that's going to get us in trouble. And uh, all your damned earnings uh, your men make are going to be eaten up if you've got no stability and you're not going to have stability going the way they're going. So I think you whoever's running labor better get a hold of me and just say now, uh, God damn it, I'll quit my wedding and everything else. I, I've i got to get some adjustments. If they got to put in cost of living, they, they got to move up some fringe dates. we got to have some movement and some action and some volunteer settlement. If we don't, I'm going to have to uh, lower the boom. And I don't want to do that now. I played a good ball here for 30 days. These folks are losing eight million a day, and they ain't that much difference in the damn settlement. They're talking about peanuts. You, you, you like my daddy said uh, one time. He said uh, I want him to attack somebody. He said, "Son, men are safe. I'm out after whale." And they, these boys are playing with peanuts compared to your situation, and compared to the electric situation, and compared to autos. Uh, hell, they mean something. Uh, but we've got to get somebody that can speak, and if C. Miller can't get his union, why, well, goddamn it, we get Hoffa in there, somebody that can. Oh, don't say that one. Uh, now, can't well, you do something about this? I, I, I've been trying to for the last two days. Well, the only time I ever saw you doing anything, I met you one time, and you told me you had some business, you wanted to settle in space, and I told Bob Kerr to get with you, and next yeah. thing I heard, you'd settled it, and I thought you were a can-do man. Yeah, well, uh, I've been at the sea miller. I was with him yesterday, and I thought I had a door open for him. Every time I turn on TV, they're cussing Johnson. Hell, they'd have had a bill in 24 hours if it hadn't been for Johnson. Yeah, yeah. I waked you up. I got you off your can, and George Miller, too. George Meany, too. Yeah. If Wirtz had gone up and testified, we had a hell of a... Emergency, and we had to have this bill like it did with Kennedy on railway labor uh, on the uh, railroad strike. We'd had a bill, don't you know that? I'm sure of that. I know that you you've done a wonderful job. The public doesn't know it, and a lot of our own people don't. No, they cuss me all the time. That's right. That's one of the reasons I took the full page ad in the Times it, and it was, it, in the Post. It today. was good. It was good. Now you get a hold of George Meany, somebody. And we don't want any Stoke Carmel, we don't want a Hellraiser, but tell them that they got to get C. Miller and get his eight or ten men. Yeah, and well, John, John McCormick and Carl and them, if if I give them a word that we got to move, we got to move, and they're just holding it. Now, yeah. you get us some action. Well, I think you better keep getting them to hold it and have some right. hearings on it. You'll come out better that way. Well, but the trouble is, the trouble is, Joe, one or two of these airlines are going crazy. They can't stand it. You see, the whole damn airline won't cost, it cost any of them under a million dollars a piece, and they lose that much a day. They're losing eight million dollars a day. That's what it's cost them. Well, now, there's not eight million difference. You see You see what I'm talking about? Yes, and the only bad thing is, because I've been talking with some of the airline's management people, or those who can talk to them, and, uh, and that's a damn wrapped up on getting a law that uh, they're, they're just not ready to bargain. Uh, yes, Joe, I can make a bargain just the minute that I know what the minimum is. Uh -huh. Now, if your goddamn union had any responsibility, they told me this is it the other night. Yeah. I didn't tell them to make this settlement. Yeah. They said this is it. This is We agree to this. They guessed wrong. And uh, then they couldn't get their self ratified. Now, what's happening to you if you can't get this deal? Don't you come in to me with something you can't get ratified. Uh, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, we got a different kind of a union. All right. Well, that, uh, uh, but he ought to know and he ought to talk to them before he did it. He ought to, Doesn't he have any telephone numbers of his damn locals? They, he could talk to five of them. I, I have to get 531 congressmen. You're and he had, no question. You're right as hell. And he makes me look like yeah. a damned idiot. And then all these machinists say Johnson's trying to force them. I haven't yeah. forced them. He called me up over the phone and said, we're ready. We got a settlement. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I say, these two men report to me they got a settlement. Yeah. That's all I said. Go vote Monday. Yeah. 
and it's within the general uh, principles. I had to fuzz it up a little bit to get him under the wire. Yes, was good. And then, uh, then everybody says I'm repudiated, yeah. and I've been let down. And I notice the damn machinists on TV. They say, well, the president can't tell us what to do. Well, I don't want to tell them. I'm trying to protect the poor guy. A goddamn fellow working in a Miami tin shop uh, under the hot sun for three dollars an hour, forty hours a week. He gets a hundred and twenty a week. Maybe got a boy in college. I feel for him, and I don't want to tell him he's got to go back to work and break his track just because I've got the power to pass a law. But I want his damn leader to get out of the dentist chair and out of the racetrack and get in here by God and go to work and, and get some negotiation. Your, your position has been sovereign. And, 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 and. Well, I'm going to call the speaker and tell him that, I God, we'll try to go over to Monday, but I, you've got to help me get an agreement this weekend, and you first thing you tell John McCormick to go to, they got a hearing tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, well, we've, we've been talking to John, uh, also fortifying... Uh, well, he's your friend. Uh, John McCormick's always been a labor man's friend, and he, he'll stay as long as he can, but, uh, uh, you know, John, uh, well, old, old man Howard Smith's pretty arbitrary, but they unseated him, and John get too damned arbitrary. Uh, somebody can get run over up there mighty quick with 138 Republicans and 85 or 90 Southerners, and you've, you've got to help him a little bit, too. Just like, I, I can hold things here for 30 days, but after 30 days, some people get blood in their eyes. Yeah, that's right. But now, the only the only thing that I have been finding, Mr. President, is that uh, at least Curtin, uh, the guy is bragging about the fact that hell, they're going to get a law in the next couple of days. Well, of course, Joe, you'd be, of course, Joe, you'd be the same thing. You wouldn't get a law. That's the only help they got. If they got a law, it wouldn't hurt anything. Yeah, yeah. I'm not worried too much about the law. I just don't want the law because because you're going to make them that tail twister a little bit, and uh, uh, you're out after whale. These boys are playing peanuts, yeah, but uh, I, I could pay. Kennedy got a railway, got a railroad strike settled with a compulsory arbitration. Yeah. We could have gotten this settled. This wouldn't hurt labor. Even hell, meaning you knew it, and you knew it wouldn't hurt you. But if you get it, if you get in the habit of getting it, you go to screwing. You know you want to go to bed with everybody then. And there's one <laughs> other thing in, in, in the picture that. Uh, Got to watch. You see, uh, there's a couple of guys running for office, and I'm, I'm I'm sorry to say that some of these goddamn right wingers are making some of their lecture stick in some of the states. You that's see? right. Well, that's exactly right. And 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 the only bad thing, the real bad thing that would come out on this is uh, is the tag that damn it to hell. Uh, some of the good guys, our friends, the stand up men, they're they're going to be tagged as one of those who. who knock these damn machines back to work. And I that's agree right. they should be knocked back somehow, and that's I agree right. C. Mills should do it. That's right. Well, you, what you do is you get on the phone now with the labor union, let me hold the Congress, and you talk to John McCormick. I just want you to make one call and tell him to hold till Monday, and then you get busy, and get Meany back down here, and get to, uh, uh, get to, uh, then we're going to have to decide labor management what to do, and we don't want to do anything to hurt you. Yeah. But we got to have a policy of the country. We can't sell a policy. We can't let the country go down the drain under C. Miller's leadership. Now, you know that. That's for damn sure. That's All right. Now, get busy. And you okay. call you call McCormick tonight, and then you you, 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 then you talk to whoever's contacts you've got. They got Kirkland handling. I don't know whether my administrative assistant can handle my job or not, but yeah. I, I, I don't know. Uh, I got yeah. Joe, Joe uh, Califano handles it for me, but sometimes the uh, old studs got to get in there, so I want you to get the old stud mini back down here. Okay, I'll try to run him down. Uh, he's, he's in Saratoga. He's the eighth race in Saratoga. He got a farm sheet in his damn hand. <laughs> and I want you to get him back. Don't you tell him I said that, but uh, I love him, but uh, you know I love him. But you get the old stud back down here now. Tell him I can't wait till Monday morning. Okay. Uh, all right. Goodbye. Take care.